Hey, my name is Peter Andrew Fisherman the third, and I am uh, here studying pastoral ministries. Uh, but really, I'm just studying to be a better Christian. <laughs> Have you ever felt like me, studying theology, having killer quiet times, praying until the sun goes down, and um, pretty much everything perfect, but still have no babes? We've all been there. I was a little hesitant coming to campus last semester because, you know, it was kind of a big deal back home. <laughs> but uh, some admissions counselors convinced me to come here to seminary because, you know, I'm single. Well, we think the on-campus experience is ideal because if you're single, it's, it's plausible that uh, you don't have any other priorities in your life. I uh, actually had a buddy of mine that called me up last spring and uh, told me that I should definitely come since I'm not dating. Bro, you have got to get here. You haven't been on a date in like 100 days, 100 days too long. They're, they're gorgeous, you're gorgeous. Bro, it's gonna happen. So I came to study uh, with a true calling on my life to get married. However, the more girls I interacted with, the more I realized they hate me like as a human person. I came here to study family ministry. I am super passionate about it, and I the dating scene here. What? Why, why are you asking? I mean, there's definitely some weird guys, but I'm I'm sure there's good guys out here too. Um, they can be a little aggressive with asking. And, Thanks. I'm not I'm not interested. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that. I'm definitely called to ministry for the chicks. What I found on campus is that there's a lot of uninteresting, um, too old, too young, Presbyterian. Um, so I developed an app to help you really sort through the true Proverbs 31 women. The app actually registers every female on campus and uh, it sorts them by availability and by relationship status. Tinder, but for Christians. Welcome to Krender. Krender. I hardly know her, which is exactly why you need to be looking up women on Crinder so you don't make a fool of yourself in person. I thought the whole idea of a dating app was absolutely ridiculous. Never wanted to be a part of it. Um, but rejection after rejection after rejection, it takes a toll on a person. So yeah, I'm giving Crinder a chance. The unique feature of the app is that it is made entirely by men and entirely for men. So all the information that you find in the app has been added by the men that know her the best. It's almost like Wikipedia, but about humans and totally true. For example, Lauren is studying biblical counseling, a little charismatic when she worships, and has a 60% positive response rate. Mariah, who is studying family ministries, is very, very shy. Due to her quiet spirit and her response rate is ranked 100%. There's Elizabeth who studies worship leadership. Take advantage of her servant heart by asking her to host a group of internationals for dinner at your place. And another example would be Jamie, who's studying missions, so she clearly has a 0% response rate. As founder of Crinder, uh, I get a lot of opinions and reviews on the app and its different features. Um, a lot of people ask about the success rate of the app, and honestly, uh, I just have to say, as Paul did, look at me as the example. So I was talking to Peter Andrew recently, and he came to me describing some of the things he's been going through. He's been wanting to be married, dealing with discontentment. So we met. I walked him through some scriptures. We prayed together. We just had a good old pastoral moment. Well, he came to me a few weeks later asking me for a pastoral recommendation on a a dating ministry app? I'm just thinking, if you build it, they will come. Name it and claim it, let's do this. My name is Naomi, I'm dating Peter Andrew. Uh, he first approached me, well, several times, uh, with normal conversations that you would have with peers, uh, but he would always end them with questions about uh, roles within the home and family worship. Krinder is uh, not only preventing me from becoming an old maid, um, but it provides guys with the confidence that they need to keep asking girls out after they say no. That's right. A unique feature of the app is sending notifications straight to a brother's phone throughout the day. Ask and you shall receive. Luke 11, 9. Keep asking her. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives. Luke 4, 18 and 19. Captivate her heart from captivity. I am the good shepherd. John 10, 11. 
Lead her like a sheep, bro. With Krinder as the source of Peter Andrews' endurance and tenacity, I eventually agreed to go out with him. Yeah, she did. Uh, I just kept asking and asking, and eventually I wore her down. That's right. Probably the most romantic words that a woman can say are, he wore me down. So if you're feeling distressed from your singleness and need somewhere to turn in your despair, because let's face it, I, I'd marry a tree at this point, um, try Krinder because God can use apps too. If you're still looking for God's match for you, then let Krinder introduce you to some incredible ladies.